Hey guys, Bridgie here. In this video, I want to talk about uh, a very important concept in uh, UI UX design, uh, and that is uh, the topic of uh, consistency. So we have this uh, beautiful UI kit from uh, Square, and uh, essentially one thing that uh, you're going to notice uh, if you're going in uh, different sections of the app, uh, there is an underlying uh, consistency within uh, the design uh, and uh, the UX flow. And uh, this is uh, such an important element because it mimics uh, human interactions. Think about consistency as a principle for humans. You will essentially thrive uh, on uh, understanding if uh, an individual is uh, consistent uh, with uh, its uh, behaviors and what he says. Uh, and uh, the same is uh, going to be true also in uh, UI UX, in the sense that uh, we want, uh, it, it's one of those principles that uh, underlines uh, a character trait of uh, the brand. Because at the end of the day, you have to think about brands and the projects that uh, you're working on uh, almost uh, as uh, a live, uh, uh, individual. It's uh, a very um, minute uh, and, uh, and subtle reflection, but uh, at the end of the day it's uh, literally just uh, that. You have to think about them uh, in terms of uh, what uh, would be the character traits that uh, I would admire in a person. How can I reflect that uh, within a brand? So one of the assets that uh, as designers we have uh, in order to create uh, that level of uh, consistency and to communicate that uh, professionalism uh, and uh, expertise uh, in uh, the field is uh, using uh, design systems. So for the very most part, if you're a designer and uh, you're working, say, on a very small uh, scoped project, maybe if you're working for a quick uh, one-off uh, for a startup that is just wrapping up an MVP. You don't necessarily need to go overboard with uh, a design system. You might outline the foundations and uh, I have entire videos uh, describing and talking about just that. But uh, if you're working with um, <clears throat> a project which uh, has uh, a longer scope in mind, uh, you definitely want uh, to consider implementing uh, these uh, elements uh, and uh, it can be in a gradual way. So again, design systems uh, shouldn't necessarily be incredibly complex and uh, detailed uh, right off the bat. Again, they are living uh, creatures in the sense that uh, you can uh, start small and then uh, as uh, the company matures, uh, as uh, the design uh, team expands, uh, you can uh, go to a more granular level and detailed level of uh, those design systems. So this is going to be something that you're going to learn uh, along the way. Um, I myself, uh, when I first started out with design systems, uh, um, I couldn't really uh, learn uh, all of the nuances by just uh, reading blog posts and uh, following uh, YouTube tutorials. There are some things that, uh, <clears throat> some lessons that simply come with time as you work on uh, multiple projects for multiple companies on different sizes. So my recommendation for you is to not to stress out about uh, getting everything perfect uh, right away, but just keep in mind that uh, design systems are going to be an essential and crucial part uh, of uh, your design journey. So you definitely want to invest uh, time in learning the basics and then experiment with uh, your very own personal projects. That is something which um, I recommend you, generally speaking, not only for learning design systems, but learning UI UX design in general. And um, even from my experience, when I first uh, worked uh, uh, in London as designer for a startup part-time as I was uh, um, working on uh, my design degree. I came to a point where, of course, you learn a lot uh, by working on uh, client projects, uh, but um, a lot of uh, the learnings also came from uh, personal projects and uh, even creating uh, UI kits uh, such as this one. <clears throat> I mean, I created many UI kits in the past. Uh, and uh, at first it was just something that I did for fun. I really liked to create uh, 
uh, beautiful designs uh, with uh, no specific direction from uh, anyone uh, so that was uh, a lot of creative freedom uh, if you wish and uh, it's something that you can do right now and uh, you don't necessarily need to just uh, uh, do it for free you can also monetize it so you have double the benefits you could create a, a UI kit where you interlink uh, a design system and then you can sell it to make that quote-unquote passive income so that you get the best of both worlds or you can simply share it with uh, the Figma community for free and uh, who knows maybe that work is going to be seen uh, and you're going to attract clients uh, which is something that uh, uh, happens as a result of uh, putting uh, good work out there so this is um, a bit of a, a different type of video where we're just discussing these topics from a high level. I'm curious to hear if uh, you like these type of videos with um, some walkthroughs uh, or if you prefer the other ones where maybe I'm, I'm working on uh, creating a design from scratch or talking about my experience and the design principles that I learned over the past decade as working as a designer. And um, on top of that, I'm also working super hard uh, these days uh, on uh, a Figma course and uh, I have a, an entire lineup of courses which I'm looking to do it's just that working with clients uh, has been taking me so much time uh, in the past years where I couldn't really focus on uh, uh, doing this so I'm, I'm really curious to hear your feedback on what uh, you would like to learn more from me and um, I would try to make the best uh, uh, to to help you out, but I uh, hope these uh, these principles are useful to keep in mind for you. And um, again, I'll see you in the very next video.